So here we're going to start with these types of problems. I'm going to have you solve these with your chipboards, and then we're going to work through some of these in 1.4 using these chipboards and come up with our answers and see if this helps us try to understand and visualize what's actually happening with our equations. So the first one says start with 3 red, which is negative 3, and then we're going to add positive 5. So let's see what we end up with. Because see we have that um, gray dot right on the end with section. We're going to find out what are we going to actually end with. So start with negative 3 and add positive 5. So I have my negative 3. I'm going to add my positive 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I'm going to start to see what I have. Um, what I end up with. And what I should notice is that if I have a positive 1 and a negative 1, that those have a value of 0, and those will eventually cancel out. So if I have 0 there, let's get rid of those, 0 and 0, what I'm left with is positive 2. And we really, if we're looking at that as an actual equation, if I start with negative 3 and add 5, And we were to use walk it out strategy, we were to use our number lines, that means I'm increasing my value by 5. Yeah, I'm going to end with a value of positive 2. So that checks out. Now our next one. Our next one says start with 2 red and 1 black. 2 red, 1 black. And now we're going to subtract 3 red. So what that means is I'm going to subtract away negative 3. Well, I can't take away 3 red because I don't have that right now. So what I can do in order to make that happen is if I can introduce both a red and a black into the situation. I can do that because this has a value of 0, the red and the black together. So if by introducing a value of 0, I'm not affecting any outcome of this event, and I can now I can take away my negative 3. So we said my first problem was I'm going to start with... Um, I had negative 2 plus 1. So remember, this was my original. And if we're looking here, that has a value of negative 1. We can see that here. And if I have a value of negative 1, now remember I introduced my positive and my negative. Now if I subtract away negative 3, so negative 1 minus negative 3, I have a value of 2. And that's the case here. Negative 1 minus negative 3. Remember, when we subtract the negative, it's always like adding a positive. Negative 1 minus negative 3, or negative 1 plus positive 3, is going to equal positive 2. And that's what we demonstrated. Last one I'm going to show you, and then we can get ahead, and I'm going to let you cut to work. Um, our next one, we have a different thing to figure out here. So I have a start with negative 6, or 6 red chips. And I'm going to do something, and I'm going to end with two red chips. So if I'm going to start with six red chips, and I know I need to end with two, I want to write an equation to figure out what's going to happen. So that means right now I have negative six, and something's going to happen, and I'm going to end with negative two. So what could be that something? Well, if I have negative six, and it's nice and easy with this visual, I can just take these negative 4 away, so that means I'm subtracting negative 4. Because remember, I took 4 right away. If this is negative 4, it means I'm subtracting negative 4. So now if I subtract negative 4, I should end up with negative 2. Negative 6, and I can remember, subtracting a negative is the exact same as adding a positive. Negative 6 plus positive 4 will equal negative 2. So that's how we use this chip diagram. Remember, you can always introduce... If you, can't, if you don't have enough chips to subtract away, you can always introduce a red and a black together because that has a value of zero. Okay? Anytime I have a value of zero, I don't affect my total outcome. 